Fred, Frederick Remington became famous for what we call nocturnes, okay? pictures at night. Uh, very, very difficult. We have, like in England, we have Turner, who does beautiful ones. But really, uh, and it's interesting because the frames, they're original frames, and they're dark, uh, which I always found, you know, anyway, very interesting. Uh, so that he did a beautiful job uh, painting night. If there are no stars, you really can't see anything. Uh, you don't know whether there are stars here or not. Uh, there are stars there. But he's just able to get that feeling, and this is dusk, actually. Now, what you have, it is primarily in blues to get the icy cold feeling. A little bit of brown. The horses are black. They're sort of brown. There's the brown underneath because the blue and the brown sort of work well together. Uh, and the detail, icicles on the mane of the horses. They're coming in at night. The horse, you can tell, the horses are gonna have a terrific time. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, they are obviously gonna be going in there and will be feeding. Uh, you look at this, uh, that's pretty obvious too, because you know that as soon as he's put the horses away, he's going to be going in there for stew and beer or whatever. Um, so it's really not a sad picture. It's really quite a happy picture. And what makes it happy is the, is the light there. Mm -hmm. Now, watch this. <coughs> if I close this off to get a different feeling, mm -hmm. right? OK, and that, now that's, again, an artistic technique to uh, just a little bit of yellow there for the light, and it gives it a completely different, different feeling. Um, over here, also a nocturne. Uh, I have a hard time looking at this one for very long. <laughs> and usually, if I ask, you know, people will say, ooh, it's creepy, you know, now this thing or else I elicit that from them, you know, and I said, what feeling do you get when you look at this? <clears throat> Obviously, what the story is, is that you have, uh, the horse has lost its rider, you know, I've killed or whatever, so it's wandering around by itself. Just the way the angle, look at the angle there, and the angles of the, of the legs, they're all, none of them are horizontal, horizontal and vertical. When you look at that, when you look at the lines, do you see how well, basically they're horizontal and vertical, which are sort of a positive, a solid? Look, here, and even the wolves, they're at an angle, even and over there. Um, and so you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen. It's almost like the sculptures. You get that feeling, but he has not painted it when the horse is down and they're chomping at it, <laughs> you know, or uh, or he's pretty healthy and you think, ah, oh, he's going to kick the wolves. No, you know what's going to happen, but he, ha he hasn't got that moment yet. He's got that special moment. And I really like to stress that because that to me is a really special artistic quality that Remington has. The other thing is, um, People think that this is sand, but it's actually snow, right, Laura? I that's, don't know. That's what I read. Okay. Okay. I did. I do read once in a while, but anyway. And uh, but it's it's almost fluorescent, and that adds to the eerie quality. Okay. There is underneath. There's brown, and there's some orange in there, uh, with uh, sort of very very pale greenish color across the top. And it just adds to the creepiness of the whole thing. Now, the other thing is, look how sparse the background is compared to that. Okay, there's lots of stuff going on there. By having it this sparse, just a little bit there, um, it adds to the feeling. He's alone, there's nothing out there, all you see are the wolves. And it's uh, these two are a really nice comparison.